Hey guys, how's it going? Today we are ourselves an unboxing and this one was donated by my brother. I only know what it is, but not from who or the specs or anything. So let's check it out. We got ourselves a flashlight. Oh, multiple sections of tape. Gotta be careful with myself, this knife. Let's take a look. There we go. Ooh. The packaging. Some packaging. Phoenix. The lighting for extremes. That's a really ooh. Desert Camo Tactical Flashlight. The TK20R UE. It's a nice box. My gosh, it's heavy. Check a look at the box. Tactical and duty modes. Flex sensor control. USB type C charging. Nice. Limited lifetime warranty. Five year free repair. Nice. 2,800 lumens. 465 meters max beam distance. Wow. 5,000 mAh battery included. Who is it for? Hunters. Law enforcement. 40 hour battery standby light. What's this one? 28 lumens. Yeah, 2800 lumens. I don't know what this means. Standard 53880 CD. We'll look it up. FL standard one meter beam reflection. And then two meters underwater. Wow, that's pretty cool. If you want to check out their uh, WeChat and their Facebook, follow us and more information. Runtime three hours for turbo. That's really cool, man. Turbo is three hours. High is three hours, 15 minutes. Medium is nine hours. Low is 40 hours. Nice. Candela. I'm not sure what Candela means. Is that like, we'll have to look that up, guys. There's some, we're learning here. Heck yeah. Impact resistance, one meter. Submersal at two meters underwater. Heck yeah. I think it's pretty cool, man. All right, let's, let's crack the sucker open. I hate these kind of flaps, but hey, whatever. If you got tape all over, is it really necessary to have the flap? And I hate that too. Like you got kind of end up damaging the box. Sometimes you don't want to damage the box, you know, since it's not mine. And it's just damaging the box. I can't even get it open without damaging the box. Yeah, there we go. I'm sure my brother doesn't care. He just wants a flashlight. A little, little flap to pull it out. Ooh, this thing is hefty, man. Oh, look at that. It's cool. Let's not get to that just yet. Let's get to the other items. The pouch. Oh, nice. Phoenix pouch. A little holster for it. Your belt loop for it, too, as well. A little extra hook. Maybe like a chain or something you want to hook up to it. This is nice. And check this out, USB-C. Heck yeah, good news. Manuals. Warranty card. There's another manual. Warnings and stuff like that. Oh yeah, look at this. Battery level indication, nice. We have port. I guess that, uh, I wonder if that extends. Hmm, interesting. Battery replacement unscrews the back end, the buttons, A, B, what's the A? Tactical switch and a flexi sensor control switch. And these are your levels right here. Damn, look at the output lumens. Runtime. Nice. That is really cool. Very intuitive. This is actually, I would keep this, toss the rest. What's this little guy? I don't want to open it, <laughs> but I'm going to have to, man. I'm going to have to. I'm going to do this. It's an unboxing, man. Oh, it's a lanyard. Lanyard is cool. I like lanyards. Oh, and it comes with extra O-rings for waterproof. Let's not lose that. Pouch. And now for the main event. If they even give you a little thing so you can pull it out, that's cool. I like the box. The box is pretty cool. Packaging is really nice. There it is, guys. Wow. Dude, that's slick. It's your lock mode. 
Oh, so that's what that that switch is. It's basically locking, unlocking. Hmm. I like this. Very intuitive. You got your locking, your indicator, and where it is. I'm not sure what that means. Cycling or something, maybe. And this is directional. I don't know what that is. I don't know what the symbol is. All right, this thing is pretty slick. It's really hefty, man. I like how the clip can move. Clipping is 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 pretty cool. I like that. Let's open the back. Maybe there's a. Yep, there is. Let's take that sucker out. Now we got power. Let's take a look at the battery. Since we have it out. Oh, it's the one nice. I like the design of it, man. That's pretty cool. Very, 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 very cool. So if you're in a pinch, man, you got a couple of these with you, your battery runs out, dude, you can swap it out real quick. I love how it's uh, rechargeable as well. Switch it again. There it is. Nice. Going counterclockwise. And that exposed USB-C. Heck yeah. And I think that's the battery life. Yep, it's on low. Oh, you just gotta be light with it. You don't have to push it all the way in. Woo! That is some slick things right there. That's pretty slick. Let's take a good closer look at this. There's the light. The LED. LED is looking really nice. The reflection is super clean. Oh, you good. Hey, hi guys. <laughs> this camo is so nice. I think it gives you warning that it's hot because it is hot. I had to turn it off for a moment. Oh man, I felt the heat. The design is really nice. The milling is really good. Like this is a nice grip. Including this right here. That's slick. The power indicator. USB-C charging, which I'll do right now. go we got a red charging there it is okay obviously it doesn't turn on when the it is charging and then there's the low light medium light oh yeah there's four levels one two three four jeez man Yeah, this is brighter than my light, I think it is. All right, let's charge it, and then we'll go outside and blind some people. Cheers. We're out here to test a flashlight that I just unboxed. So let's go ahead and do that. So I got it right here. Pretty cool. All right, let's do it. So it's a dark and not stormy night. Ooh, I think that's low. That's number one. Number two, three, four. Holy shit, dude. That's bright. That's really, really, really bright. And that's low. Honestly, that's all you need. Nice little neighborhood, honestly. That's low. Oops, that's off. That's level two. Level three. Level four. Holy smokes, dude. Woo. 
Let's go back to low. Kind of reminds me of uh, another flashlight review that I did. Um, you guys could check that out. I'll put that link right there in the bottom or in the top right corner. Functionality of this flashlight is pretty good. Now this is just low. I'm gonna hit the switch to get that strobe going. It works good with your thumb. There we go. SOS. Strobe. SOS. It switches over on its own. And then you tap it and it goes into this mode. You know, like, take a look at this flashlight, dude. All right, let's look at this tree real quick. Let me zoom out. Number two. Oops, off. Three. Four. Holy smokes, this is bright. And low. Pile of dirt. This is quite nice, you guys. This is a really nice flashlight. Very versatile. The switch on the thumb to switch over mode to uh, strobe is really easy. It's just, just really grips into the finger, right? And you can go back and then off. No matter what you do with this button, that, that light will not turn on unless you go into cycle button or cycle mode. You can go, oh, you can flash it. You can flash it. That's cool. When it's off, you're just slightly tapping on the, uh, on the switch, the button, full press. And of course, light tap, switch in mode. Really nice flashlight. Oh. Yeah, it's very, very bright. You can't change the focal point, which I've noticed, which is fine. You can feel the heat. It's getting warm to the touch. I'm sure it's just a regular heat or uh, lightly warm or lukewarm when it's on low. When you got that blast on number or that level four, man, you're talking, you're talking heat. Don't touch the tip or touch the, the lens. Yeah, you don't want to put your fingerprints on the on the lens at all because that would just burn the oils. It gets that hot. But yeah, this is nice, nice, nice flashlight. The clip is great. Fits right into the to my belt or to my shorts. Very simple. We'll, we'll see if this light, damn. So that's level one, level two, three, four. Oh, damn. That is so bright. Well, guys, I guess that's, uh, we can call it a night. Talk to you guys later. See ya.